guys. Uh, we come back and we uh, have a talk here. Sorry I've been gone for so long. Had that little bout with cancer and such and then the uh, reaction, I was okay for a little while and I was living life and getting some things accomplished and I really didn't have time to make a bunch of videos. <clears throat> and then uh, problems arose from the treatments from the cancer and now I'm not able to produce the type of videos I once did, which those videos weren't any good anyway. Let's all admit it, right? I was a boob. And I decided let's start with a different prospect. And welcome to Secondhand DIY and let's get into this. <clears throat> Anything you see me do on this channel is for entertainment. For you to see how I keep myself entertained. Now I'm permanently disabled. So, I have to keep myself amused. I can't do anything anymore. So, I'll show you what uh, I've decided to get myself into. And for you gentlemen <clears throat> that love uh, the radios, the radio stuff's all gone. Uh, <clears throat> I was hooking up with a buddy, going to start... I was, we we're going to do the radios in his building. We moved everything there, the equipment and everything. <clears throat> and I was going to start going over there and teaching him, and we were going to record it. Now, he had a wood heated building, and he had a fire, lost everything. So, we're just not going to do that one no more. Um, that's all bad juju. <clears throat> but I've been uh, making stuff like uh, this. Just a simple little rose made out of aluminum and can. And then I made this god awful one here. It's made just out of some scraps I had laying around. And I made these, you know, my wife cobbled onto them. She liked them. I made a lot prettier ones that I gave away. But, uh, I know, <clears throat> they're pretty little rows. Here's what I really, really like doing with cans. This is something I'm working on now. And I think I'd like to teach you guys how I do this. Or let you watch me build these things. This is all out of soda cans. Wheels, everything. And while I take you on a journey, and I'll teach you how to... I'll let, I could teach you how I do it, but I don't suggest you try it because if you cut yourself, I don't want to be responsible. You only do what you're comfortable with doing. And by the way, I actually am a gamer too. Uh, if you ever play Horizon, ever played Horizon XI, I'm Monty. If you see me on there, just give a yell. It's never fear, Monty's here. Now, uh, let's start with how we get our materials. I've saved some pop cans. And I have other people bring me cans. Now and then. Because they've learned how I love my hobby. Let's just grab out a couple. Couple of basic style of cans. And we got some other cans. Some of them ain't been written so well, it don't feel like. Okay, let's start with these basic cans here. And I'll show you basically how I do this. This might not be the longest video. But if you guys like them, let me know. I would love. I'm going to try to start doing these videos. So get hopefully they'll get better. I have upgraded my cameras. Um, now I'm going to get me some editing software. I know this is just going to be a grungy, rotten down video. That's not had any editing whatsoever. 
almost should just live stream when I do this. But this is basic. We're just this is just a uh, fancy carpenter's knife made like a pocket knife with a lock blade, which I like this. I like the weight. I like the feel of it. Um, this came from Walmart. They still, I don't think they carry them anymore, but you can probably look on eBay and find it. It is a chef filled, but I've seen another one. At Rural King once had this exact same knife, but instead of saying chef filled, it said craftsman. So, probably just a Chinese knife that you can and everybody gets their name thrown on it at one time or another. These, get these at Walmart. Uh, this pair here, I believe, actually I found in the one I used to go uh, scavenging on cleanups. And there's some other scissors. I've gotten these in who knows where. I can't even remember where I got these. But I'm sure you can get these at the, in any place like Walmart or something. You don't have to have all these different sizes, it's just whatever you feel comfortable with using. Sometimes I feel most comfortable using this one. Sometimes I feel comfortable using this one. But this one here I like using on felt more than anything. And this here, this will cut, these here cut kind of aluminum can with no problem. And people always say, now how do you keep from cutting your hands? I don't know. But if you're worried about cutting your hands, here, get you a pair of these. These are uh, stainless steel gloves. I use them with my uh, big meat slicer. Now these are uh, a uh, stainless steel wire. If you can see here, you can see a little piece of wire. I need to get it a replacement set. But that's a little wire that's wrapped with like a, a black felt or black uh, material that's uh, cut resistant and these will help keep you from getting cut and they ain't guaranteed but they are a, uh, a cut resistant glove so but they, they they will help keep from cutting you that's why I use them with my meat slicer but I do this freehand I like to start, I like to pop them tabs off, and for some reason I saved these, I haven't used any of them for anything quite yet, but I, I do save them, and uh, depends like, if I'm building me a bike and I want to save this little bit here, sorry about my dogs, for a fender. Hey, what, what can I say? We're doing this uh, wrong rendering, no uh, editing. So I do have animals, so that can be a thing you'll hear from time to time. I can't control them all the way. My wife's trying to get them to go play in the other room instead of where I uh, do my stuff. They like to be around me. And once I cut that off, I'll pull that off like that. And then I'll show you how you can clean up this can there. So, yeah, this can here was not rinsed very well. Let's set that one off to the side. That will have to be rinsed much better. So let's do another one. I think I should have started with a new blade. Well, well, would show you how you do it in real life. Hell, you don't always have a first blade in your knife. They get dull from using them. And I'm, I'm looking like a noob at this because I got a dull blade. Let me go ahead and flip this blade over. There, good thing about utility knives, double sided blades.
I'm usually much quicker and more reliant at doing or better at doing this. So everything's gonna screw up because I'm trying to record it on a video. But I like to do that, and I I definitely save these. Those I save and save and save. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I got my trash can by me over here. I'm dumping little dibs of water in. I'm going to go ahead and just cut a few of these tops off of these. See, I'm not trying to pull real hard. I'm going just a little bit of time and just basically working my way around. I was trying to go too quick at those because I just do that sometimes. Sure you guys can all feel the sometimes you just want to get it get it done. <laughs> and I feel they like keep going around, trying to keep going over the same spot, scoring it over and over to make a nice clean cut through and then you just should be able to pop it. Just a little bit of soda in it, still a little bit too. Here, let's just we're just go put a little water in the can. Try to get all that soda collected into that water. A little dribble of water there. Here, this one here really needs it. There, we'll just put that. <laughs> Okay, I'll roll you out there. <clears throat> so what I like to do is I usually I usually like to start with this pair and then I'll work the rest part with this pair. And what I do is I like to go where I got a little bit here and there. We'll just cut right down the middle of the barcode, straight down like this. About that far. And then we're going to go in with this pair of scissors here. And we're going to trim right on around. Trying to keep about a millimeter or so from the edge of that bottom. You want it straight as possible. There's the bottom. Save that. And then I like to go with the bigger pair of scissors. I ain't figured out why in my head I do, but I just do. You just cut it just like you would a piece of paper. And I got this piece here that I can trim up and make fenders out of. Like you see on that bike I have making. Now when you get to this point, I like to take this and I got my camera stationary, but like, well, let's see. We can go with uh, this little cool case here. this where I don't try to pull I just pull down I put my hand there and I let my hand roll with it and I kind of like stretch the metal out as you can see the metal starts going straight This is something you'd have to play with doing to get the idea of what's just kind of pulling down as I'm holding it like that and letting my hand slide with it. 
and I'm pressing down my hand so it helps bend the metal straight. Now you can do this off the edge of a table or whatever. I would do it on this desk, but the edge of it's pretty messed up where I could show you, but here, I'm just going to fine tune it over here where you can't see off the edge of my desk. It's so much easier on the edge of a, the table or desk. This desk has been through war. I need to redo the for my the top on it. Then you get a piece like this. This is my main sheet of metal. I just keep doing them like that and keep getting sheets. I do another one. And as I do this stuff and I pull out different, I pull out a different tool. I'll tell you where I got it, if I can remember where I got it. Some things I just find in the, I used to go to city cleanups and I would find stuff and fix up. Old furniture, stuff like that. I used to love doing that stuff, fixing old things up. Which I still do, I just don't find as much of it. But I'll be showing how I do a lot of that stuff too. Whenever I do something like that, I'll show you. My mic's probably not the greatest. I'll probably end up having to upgrade that too. I'll get off the edge of the desk here. That little squeak you hear, might be hearing is uh, my dog, one of my dogs, playing with a, uh, one of their chew toys that my wife picked her up and it just happened to have a squeaky in it. Thanks, dear. Okay, now we've got a little bit different style can. Now we got a can like that, and too bad it's got a couple of dents in it, but I'll probably use this to make some flowers. This nice big sheet, or you never know what you could use a really long sheet for. Now I've taken a couple of these, and the cans weren't damaged, and they were like a, uh, a coffee drink or something. And the label wasn't painted on. It had a shrink wrap label. When you took it off, it was just all silver. So I took a couple of them once and I made a, a semi truck tanker with them. These here, there's not near as much slip. So our main worry here is just getting the top off. But I do like the way that can top is. I think that might come in for an interesting project for something else. Another great thing I like when I find is the aluminum, the aluminum soda bottles. Those things are, or beer bottles, those things are awesome for uh, using for other ideas. Got tons of ideas for those. Just finding them. Nope, not squared enough. Sometimes I squared enough. You can just put a little pressure on it, and the top of the can will just pop off. Trying to figure out where we're stuck. And there we're stuck. It should be about ready to pop. It should be popping off. Way the blade felt going around it. Ah, there's the stuck spot. Okay. I 
Like I said, I'm not forcing real hard. Just enough to add a little pressure. Where it'll, the sharpness of it, I plan on cutting through it. Never force the knife blade. Basically, the smaller can is the same thing, just repeated over. <clears throat> now this one here, we're going to go right down the middle of this label here on the back. <clears throat> Try to keep that cut down the back as straight as possible, even though mine was not that straight at the time. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting my finger under the edge and I'm putting my thumb here and I'm pushing, I'm kind of twisting as I'm cutting and that helps me Cut it off of the can a little better now. We got a little off, so we'll just cut it in an angle there. It'll be good. And then we gotta cut the rim off. Being this can is dented up so bad it's going to have creases in it, you can see. So it would be best I use this for making flowers. So that's what I intend on using that for. I know it's a loud crinkle sound, but I'm right by the mic. Sorry about the noise. have a curly flat piece there. And this piece here I have a little bucket over here I keep I throw stuff like this I really don't have, have much use for that piece so that'll go in the recycle bucket. Now I told you about cleaning these tops up. Basically how I do that is, is I just put my blade down like that and I just keep a little pressure. I just twist. See I'm not actually cutting it. I'm just using the knife blade and shoving it off the edge, which shears it plainly. And once you do it enough, you'll get the hang of it if you try it. I mean, don't recommend anybody doing anything they don't feel safe at. And plus, if you cut yourself doing this, it's your own fault. You shouldn't have done it. <laughs> you just watch me because I done it so many times now, but I've never cut myself at doing this, amazingly enough. So that means I just drink myself, so I will cut myself eventually.
sometimes I cut the top off of the can and use it like when I do this when I make my aluminum and tubing these are little tubes I made out of aluminum and sheet like this and how I get these and I make different sizes I do that with different sized dowel rods this one here is no good for doing that so this is what I got sitting in my can over here for doing other things with sandpaper and cute and cotton balls so that's just the one I use the stick but that's what I use is some dowel rods like that I buy a variety pack of them at uh, the local Walmart in the craft section they have an assorted bag of dowel rod sticks um, I don't have one handy I would show you what a bag looks like but it'll be in the craft section and it'll be a multi different types of size dowel rods in it for crafting and such but that's basically what I do is I do that and then after you do that to them they'll stack right up nice and neat to put in a little box what I do a lot of times with these is I take these and I take a piece of 80 grit sandpaper and I'll lay it down flat and I'll do this while holding the sandpaper like that and that'll allow me to pop this insert out and I glue two sides of these together and that's how I make a rim which we'll, get, we'll cover later on but uh, I know it's not a very long video not a very good video but hopefully you're interested and you'll come back and watch me when I make something next time but uh, that's a quick easy how I get my materials to make these crafts that I'll be showing so if you're interested stay tuned and please come back I would love to let you watch me do this stay safe people peace